What's up guys, this is the Gaming Platypus. Welcome back to New Super Mario Brothers Wii. We are entering the final few episodes of the series. We're going to start off World 9 in this episode. This is basically a bonus world. So basically, there, this level has, this world has 8 levels. Each level is unlocked by, by collecting all the star coins in that same numbered world. So this is 9-1, you unlock this by collecting all the star coins in world 1. And so on. There's the first star coin. Got my extra life back because I died. Because I died right before recording this clip. And look, there's the. There's the. There's the second star coin. As a matter of fact, none of the levels in this world have a checkpoint. This is an entry pipe. Okay. There we go. There's a star coin acquired. So nine dash one isn't that bad, but the next few, the next level few levels in this world can be pretty tough. So, that's 9-1 out of the way. Let's move on to 9-2. You unlock that level by collecting all the world, all the star coins in world 2. You probably get the idea by now. So basically, this world is not mandatory, it's just like a bonus world, basically. Oh look, Porcupuffer is back. And now, it's actually in its home world, because, because it was only like... Like, like as a fightable enemy on the world map of, of World 4. The beach world, and... And it, the only level it was in was 6-2, or 6-5, rather. Okay, so, through this pipe, we are introduced to a new enemy. This is a, this is a cheap chomp. They're, bas they're very dangerous. They're basically the underwater version of Boss Bass from Mario 3. If he gets you, he eats you, automatically killing you. It's a, it's a one-hit kill. Oh. A Fire Flower would be very good on this level, but the color suit works too. What's up here? A bunch of coins. Cool. So many Koopas. There we go. Oh, need another. There he goes. There goes the orchid cover. I can 
not mess up now. There we go. Okay, 9-3, here we come. I also stocked up on items before doing the video. And I also visited all the cannons. There's not much. You just jump in a cannon and there's a cutscene of the cannon shooting you to the next world. So here we are introduced to homing bullet bills. They're basically bullet bills that home in on you. You can tell that they home in on you because they're flashing. Got a one up. Don't really need it. How blocks are useless against the against the bill the homing bullet bills because oh because the because they're in midair. We have a pipe down here. Takes us to the into a, a maze. The first star coin. So we need to take the right path. You go the wrong path. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you have it. If you're going for the star point and you take the wrong path, you gotta restart the level. Oh look, there's... We have a secret room up here. If we, we gotta run up, run on these bricks, and that's the second star coin. Anything in here? Yep. Ice block. And here we have homing bonsai bills. These guys don't really home in on you the way the 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 homing bullet bills do. They just they just like go up and when when they see you they fly at you. And I am dead. Okay, I'm back at the platform section with a propeller suit this time. So let's do this. All right. That was close. There we go. Moving on, we have the checkpoint. I mean, exit. What am I saying? So, level complete. Yeah. Okay, 9-4. Let's bring out the ice flower. Because the propeller suit isn't that good on the on this level. This level is an auto scroller with lots and lots of bombs. Looks like we're gonna have to wait for that Brana to break free. Ice flower, or ice flower back. Freeze that guy. Uh, 
I'll jump off the pipe. This level is pretty tricky. Also, I like how they use the pipes as the ground. Oh boy, here come... Here come platforms that move down if there are two entities on it. Coming back for that star coin. Oh, crap. And since I needed the ice flower for the third and final star coin, I'm coming back for that one as well. Basically, you had to freeze the piranha plant to freeze the piranha plant to get the star coin. But I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna have to come back for it. Okay, that last star coin in 9-4 is is terrible. Okay. Let's get a penguin suit for 9-5. It's really good on this level. It's a vertical level. It's covered in ice. And it's also got a lot of cooligans. Platform. Crap. Come on! How was I supposed to see that coming? Ugh. Well, I got that star coin anyway. Desperately needed the the penguin suit for. Oh come on! Here we are, the part where you need. Or you really need the penguin suit. A super mushroom will do though. Guess I'm coming back for that. Try this. Come on. Ugh. 
<laughs> Finally got that star coin. Let's head to 9-6. It is a lava level. Watch out for the guys. Oh, hey, Toad. I'll try to carry him to the goal. So this is what the Toad Escort missions are like. Thanks a lot, Toad. So, uh... That escort mission is gone. Let's get a propeller suit. There we go, first star coin. We are not getting the fire flower. It's basically useless on this level. And we are not going for those coins. Oh boy, flame Sean. My, my propeller suit and my, and my voice cracked, which is fun. <sighs> okay, got that star coin. Now we're moving on. 9-7, considered by considered by many to be one of, if not the hardest level in the game. We're gonna use a star. We have a lot of them. Thanks to the star houses. No worries. Hakuna Matata means no worries. Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Okay, so basically this level's gimmick is the melting ice blocks. They're melted by all the fire spitting piranhas. And and if they're in the air, they spawn coins, which you can fall through, and... And if they're on the ground, they spawn munchers, which hurt you, and only take damage from power blocks. We also have some spike balls with Goombas hiding in them. Oh yeah, and your own fireballs can... Can awaken the munchers, so... Be careful! Oh, how did I not take damage? Was it the timing? Okay, made it past. Here you're gonna watch out for the fire bro. And I am dead. Now that I finally grabbed those star coins, it's time to move on to the final level in the game. The actual one. And this level isn't really that bad. At least I hope. Oh, it does have fuzzies, which are annoying. Oh, and it scrolls fast. 
at least we can actually get the propeller suit on this level. Unlike the last few. Oh, come on. Oh, crap. At least I have the block. Oh, there's a mini mushroom. Don't want it though. This level also has mini mushrooms. That was close. Ooh, a star, star, star. Uh. Thanks a lot, Block. Okay, got the second star coin. This level can- I think this level can be tricky. It's... But it's nowhere- it's like a cakewalk compared to- compared to the last one. Okay, here we are introduced to a new enemy. You're gonna want to dodge them because they're invincible. The King Bill! They're giant bullet bills. You cannot kill them, so- and- and they're also marked by coins. So you're gonna watch out for those. You're gonna wanna watch out for those. Ow. Bullet Bill is coming. Two of them. There we go. Third and final star coin. And the final star coin in not just level and or this world, but the entire game. Oh. Went for the top, but I would have gotten my, gotten decapitated by that by that King Bill. Anyways, that was the final level in the game. I've completed everything in this game. That's it for this series. I'll see you in the next series. Bye!